One piece on the forefront of COVID-19 has been finding treatments that are effective against an unknown virus. As protocols changed and new treatment options were discovered, patient care was constantly evolving. In part three of our six part series, we dig into how patient care changed for both COVID positive and COVID negative patients at Sioux City's two hospitals. Patients are always number one when they come through our doors. It's always number one. Patient care has evolved over the last several months as hospitals adjust to COVID-19 protocols, including the way doctors and patients interact. One of the major, uh, and the, I would even call it a weird thing that I noticed is now we don't shake hands with patients. And we used to always go in, introduce ourselves, shake hands, and that, that human connection was always a very um, important factor, I think, when we treat, we treat people, we just don't treat a number, right? So uh, when that happens, um, I think a little bit of the dynamic change, the dynamics change. I think it's, it's going to be a new era until we get the vaccine, until we get this whole thing taken care of. And when treating someone who is COVID positive, Bahara says it feels otherworldly. Obviously, in the COVID ward, another factor that plays into um, that comes into play is our whole PPE equipment because we're covered almost like we're going to the moon or somewhere, and so that makes us even more alien. We try not to feel, make the, make the patients feel that we're aliens. Hospitals are quieter too. I think the biggest change that the public would, would notice right now is just the lack of the public being in the hospital, which is a, a bit of a double-edged sword. It's been hard for families and patients not having visitors with them. We use a lot of empathy and compassion and try to reassure them that it's for their own safety and for their family members' safety too. They've turned to video conferencing when having family present isn't possible. We try to give as many calls as possible to family members to keep them abreast of what's going on. Unity Point Health tests everyone who is admitted for COVID-19 to keep those infected separate from those who are not. And for those who are COVID positive, it can be a scary time. When we go into that, the COVID units, we do take care of them. Obviously, as any other patient, we do our best to give them the best possible care. At the start, doctors didn't have the answers that patients were looking for. Sometimes they have questions, especially early on when they had questions for us as to what, what do you think will happen with me and what's my prognosis. We didn't have that answer and that was awkward. That was also truthful, but it was awkward because, you know, we don't know what's going to happen because we didn't know what, how the patient's going to go from there. For those patients who are not COVID positive, they are asked to wear a mask when interacting with hospital staff. But the hospitals say their patient volume has been down as people put off care. I think for the most part, patients are still leery, mm -hmm. understandably. Uh, they haven't wanted to come back into a healthcare facility if it's absolutely necessary. They are working around the clock to keep everyone safe. I would say to patients out there, it is a completely safe environment. We have gone to great lengths that if there is a COVID patient in the hospital, they are isolated appropriately and people are doing the right things in terms of cleaning and sanitation, that nobody should be scared about coming into the hospital thinking they're gonna contract COVID because they're here. Um, we go to great lengths to, to protect our our patients and our staff. At the end of the day, our local frontline heroes are ready for any challenge they face. With patient care, a top priority. I would tell them we're calm, we're ready, we're providing safe care for them, we're providing it their way, whether they're at the hospital or at our clinics. Um, we tell them, please wear a mask while you're here and trust us, we know what we're doing, we've got this. If you missed any of our stories this week, you can find them at the top of our website, SiouxLandNews.com. And tune in tomorrow for part four, where we take a deeper look at how COVID-19 has affected local health care workers, with Mercy One and Unity Point Health stepping up to take care of those on the front lines.